<laughs> um, there's this episode where he was, I was supposed to slap him. Hey. Okay. And you know, when you're shooting, there's a cut, let's take, you know, they move the camera. So mm -hmm. by the time we're done, he took about five slaps. And <laughs> they were real slaps. And you know, Aye. he's light skin. You see, Aye. when we're done, they had no more red Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and I loved every bit of oh, it. <laughs> people welcome to another exciting episode of honestly speaking the only show where you ask us to bring any of your favorite celebrities to answer questions that have been bugging you and we make sure they answer honestly today's guest is an actress who came to the limelight through her role in the boys casa comic series she is a model she's a women's advocate she's a brand influencer she's a fitness influencer and many more a lot of people call her Ahonfe Patri in the street and when we return Priscilla Ajemine Opoku speaks with us. So, is he helping? Well, he's he's doing his best. Uh, but but I'm okay. I'm I'm content. I mean, we are all not meant for the flashy life of the city. Yeah. I I wake up and go to sea every morning, and I've loved doing that since childhood. Yeah, for me, life is all about being content. Once you haven't loved the things that you do, nothing else matters. Right. You're, you're free to receive the call. It's my ex. I don't know what he wants. Listen to him. Maybe he wants you guys to fix whatever problem you have. No, I don't think I'm ready. He's the reason why I came down here. Well, you, you, you have to focus on the positives. Every relationship has conflicts. You know, even siblings fight. But we, do, we don't reject them when they wrong us. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's all a state of mind, okay? Once you love the person, you should just try and give the person a second chance. And that's what love is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You sound like a psychology scholar. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Talk to me. What's the problem? Jimmy and I had plans for the evening. <laughs> and let me guess, you can't go through with it because of your dad and your ex. Why did he even have to bring him? Maybe if you had told him that you guys have broken up, he wouldn't have brought him along. Yeah. You're right. Now everything is just ruined. I should just go to bed. I think I have an idea. You do. <laughs> I've decided to go back to London with you. Really? That's awesome, babe. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> yeah. Wait, does it have anything to do with you and Jimmy? Yes, it has. It has everything to do with that. Don't you think you're a Russian thing? No, I'm not. He doesn't want anything to do with us, and I can't stop thinking about him. So the best thing I can do for myself is to leave here for some time. Well, that's how you feel, dearest cousin. I'm 100% behind you. Thank you. Uh, Ian. <laughs> you first. Uh, okay, it, it, it's nothing really. I was just, I was just thinking about what your um, uncle just said. What did he say? Um, about you being my girlfriend. What about it? Nothing, just that I've been I've I've been thinking about it for a while now. Really? Yeah. So why did you deny it when he mentioned it? Cause I didn't know how you take it. I'm falling in love with you. And, you know, I'm 
considering the fact that you don't you don't live here i don't know how we will work and i don't even know if if you feel the same way about me yeah i've been thinking about it too but i was hoping you would man up and then propose to me maybe i'll relocate after school Wow. Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking and Ahuafe Patri is here with me. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. You look beautiful as always. Thank you. I feel like you look exactly like, you know, I see you in the videos. <laughs> like there's no shaking in any way. As pretty as like you, 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 you appear on screens and stuff. Thank so you. You're very it, pretty too. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How, how are we feeling today? I'm good. Yeah. yeah, I'm grateful to Thank you, you for agreeing to come to the interview, by the way. You can't say no to farmhouse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to know a little bit about you. I've been seeing you, you know, for a long, for a long, long, long time now. And I just want to know, you know, a little bit like where did we grow up? What kind of school did, what schools did we go to? How did we even develop a passion for acting? You know, yeah. what is life even saying now? Yeah. Um, so, I, where did I grow up? I was born in Accra. I always say that um, I, I'm practically a guy girl, even right. though I'm from Kuru. Right. Um, I'm my mom's only child, so I'm pretty spoiled. I, I wanted to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how did acting start? I started in NAFTI. I've always wanted to be a TV director. Right. So, I went to NAFTI. And that's how Boys Casa started. That's where I met Calibos and Kofia Samoa. And I don't know if people know this, but everybody on that um, production was a student in NAPTI at that time. And it was such a, it was a little idea that blew up before we knew it. And that was how it all started. For me. Right. And so would you say that's like from there on you developed a passion for acting because you're like, okay, maybe this is something that I'm good at. So why don't I take it seriously? Um, I've always been interested in acting. It didn't start from Nafti. I probably was not expecting things to blow up as quickly as, as they did. did yeah. Yes, but I've always been interested right. in being on the streets. Right, and um, so your family, you know, you said you're only, you're the only child. So were your parents really, you know, excited or really supportive? of your acting choices okay so um i grew up with my mom and my grandmother my mom spoils me so yeah she was supporting me <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so she yeah she was my mom is late by the way and oh, she was I'm sorry oh that's fine she was really proud of me my grandma is super proud of me like anywhere she goes she needs to make sure people know that she's our first grandma <laughs> so yeah they're proud of me i had an uncle however who was not too supportive because um, I was also quite smart. So he right. thought I, I could have, you know, done something else like become a doctor or something. Right. But, but I think he's fine now. Yeah. <laughs> so if you weren't if you were in acting, what do you think you'd be doing? Film producing or? Yes. Yes. Um, I still have, um, you know, plans to produce and direct my own stuff. So should we be expecting like please, a production? Please. Would you okay. like to feature in something? What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So we should expect something. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. And so we did Boys Casa. And so would you say that's maybe one of your biggest projects to date? Or you've, you've done other projects that you would say have propelled you into the industry? Um, fortunately for me, and I'm very grateful for that, I think every project that I have worked on right from the beginning has been really big. Right, right. Yes. So they are all a stepping stone towards the right direction. Right. Like the next one is always bigger than the previous one and there's more to come. Right, right. And so you've done that, you're a, you're a star now. Is there anything else that you do aside like movies, acting? Um, I'm a model. Right. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. Right. Yes. I, I would call myself a fitness influencer now right. because I like to talk about you know getting healthy getting fit and yeah and i mentioned earlier that you're a women's advocate yes. how did all of that happen well first of all it happened because i'm a woman <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but also i realized that um people like to listen to or people are interested in what i have to say and what i 
do so i realized that maybe i could use that for good right so that's how it started i realized young ladies you know look up to me so yeah then so would you say that you've You've impacted um, people's life through so. through that. I hope yeah. so. Yeah, would say, guys, if you feel like she's impacted you in any way, come <laughs> and say it, and we'll bring her attention to it, just so you can get your two. You know, right? Um, so we've done acting. We're into um, modeling. Yes. We've done um, advocating. Yes. All right. So you know, all that aside, is there any other thing that you're working on that you know you can share with us? <laughs> I did mention that I would like to direct and produce my own productions. Also, there's this thing that I want to start. I realize that we need to love ourselves a bit more. And um, that's something I'm also looking at doing, you know, um, encouraging young women to love ourselves, you know, give ourselves a little bit more love, you know, and stop. Um, succumbing to societal pressures. So I have this thing that I'm doing. I'm about to do the second edition. It's called okay. Smash It. And it's just, don't tell anybody, but it's really get towards women. But everybody can come. But I just feel like we may need a safe space <laughs> right. where we can share ideas, we can work out and have fun. So that's something I'm working right, on. Right, right. Okay, guys, looking forward <laughs> to that. And hopefully we get the dates, location, yes, all yes, of that yes. soon. Okay, one last thing before, you know, we go on a break and we get to answer the questions your fans said. Calibos <laughs> was here. I asked him the same thing. So, you know, Calibos recently got married. Yes. And it was such a frenzy. It was everyone on social media. Why? Why? Because we were all surprised at the bride. No disrespect towards his wife, but you know, because of what we've all seen and the kind of relationship you guys have on set, it was just, I think it was just normal for everyone to expect that, you know, the both of you would get married, but he explained why. And I just wanted to ask, you know, what you thought about it? Because it was everywhere. It was, it was controversial. <laughs> and the fact that you were his, um, well, can I say groom's made of lady. groom's lady? Yeah, <laughs> like, groom's lady. Yeah. That's what even blew everything out of proportion. <laughs> like, what was that even all about? <laughs> First of all, I don't think anyone really thought Calibus and I. Really? Uh, no. Are you sure? Maybe no. that's how you were feeling, but trust no, me. No, it was so obvious. We were just friends and we were working on, you know, a production together initially it didn't bother me because i feel like okay they think there's something going on between us that means we're actually doing something right, right. right but anyone who's worked with us or anyone who has spent time with us can tell right from the beginning that right. people are just friends we don't take right. each other seriously right <laughs> but then that's only the people that have worked with you You know some of us that you know this is my first time yeah. even having a conversation yeah. with you so now i know did you really think there was something going on to be honest to be honest like <laughs> the first person i thought about when they we heard Okalibos gets married. Because like, oh, you guys even did a shoot. <laughs> Remember? There was a shoot or something that happened and it, it looked so nice. So when, I wasn't like, ew, why is he not married? Yeah. I was just like, oh, wow. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised. And one thing about Ghanaians too is once they see a male and a female, then, that means yeah. there's something going on yeah. between them. So yeah. if you get a co host right now and he's a male, Trust immediately me, they'll tell you no that. i've had some of the guys come on and then they'll make comments like oh will you be my girlfriend <laughs> jokingly and then all of a sudden i'll go and read the comments and it's like oh anna is in love with him or this guy like just so i get you yeah. i get you <laughs> so um you um he did say Caleb was was here he mm -hmm. did say you guys have such a wonderful you know relationship on set offset and it's just like you know friends level but you are his you are Cal like you know him himself he has a wife but Calibus's yeah. wife is the character like yeah. and that's never gonna change yeah. right yes. are we agreeing yes. okay all right that's me that's my own question that i wanted to ask you we're gonna go on a break when okay. we get back you have to answer all the questions that your fans sent you yeah guys right after the break ahonfe patri speaks to us Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking and Ahuanfe Patri is here and she's ready to answer all the questions that you sent her. Honestly. 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 <laughs> oh guys, don't do that. Okay, now you have to promise. The way I'm moving here. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be like I promise because I don't trust you. Okay. I promise. 
I will try. Hey, <laughs> wahala for me. I promise. Yeah. I okay. Know. Let's move. Let's move. Um, first one, Ibrahim from Asamankese wants to know why you chose to cut your hair and the motivation behind it. Um, because I'm lazy. Okay. Yes. Very honest. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, you know, spending time doing my nails. Like my nail lady, for instance, is very far from me and I'll go to her anytime. But sitting down in a salon to get my hair done, it's Stressful. really not me, no. no. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right, okay. Um, again, Ibrahim wants to know if the name Ahmofe Patri has overshadowed your real name, Priscilla. I don't think so. I love being called Ahmofe. Okay, um, I think, like I said earlier, when you asked about me and Calipos, right. I think it just showed me that, okay, Ghanaians are really accepted, you know, to play a character and then that turns out to be your name. I love it. But also people know I'm called Priscilla. So. Right. And then I have other names too. There's Angela, there's Coco Brown. Okay. That's okay. the job of an actress. Right, right. <laughs> so you just have to accept all that comes with it. Right. Uh, Godfrey from Doma wants to know the life lessons you would like to give young women who want to be in the industry. Um, you need to grow through what you go through. Yeah, mm. um, yeah deep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is coming from me. I feel like sometimes when something doesn't happen the way we want it to happen, we are so busy complaining that we don't learn from it. Sometimes people would say no to you. You need to find out, you know, learn what you did wrong. Learn from it, but you're busy complaining before you realize the thing has passed and you didn't learn anything, and it's going right. to keep. And that's the thing about life; it's going to keep happening until you learn. So whatever you go through, just learn, learn something from it. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> well spoken. Next, Benjamin from Pandai wants to know if you are now into fitness activities and what smash it all about. Ah, <laughs> you spoke a little bit yes, about that. Yes, I am. Um, fitness saved my life. Right. So I also realize that the, we don't really have a community here. There's so many misconceptions. As soon as you enter the gym, people think you want to lose weight. As soon as uh, someone who is a little on the skinnier side enters the gym, hey, okay, then we'll hold on. what are you going to do in the gym? You're already skinny. Right. So there's a lot of misconceptions and I'm trying to, you know, educate people in the little way that I can. Right, right, fair enough. Um, Godfred still wants to know that one particular thing you wish you never did in your life. Ooh. Hey, Mr. Godfred. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Godfred, why? Um, doubting my potential. Mm. Yeah. I think a lot of us do that, yeah. you know, and it, it hinders progress if it's not, you know, my English has finished. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, your your yeah. progress. Right, um, Greg from Medina is asking that being the strong and independent woman you are, do you feel pressured to settle down? Nope. At all? <laughs> no. Like, I mean, I do know, like, uh, living in this country, because even me at a very young age, my aunties, grandma, yeah. like, everybody's like, oh, four, wouldn't you give birth to grandchildren, <laughs> this and that. And so, so it's not even about, oh, this person is grown and yeah. they can't give it. It's just like, I don't know what the problem is yeah. that... They just keep asking for kids and asking. <laughs> Even when, no, when you're 18, oh, die, I'm gonna, you know, you can go marry off and have kids. I don't know what the problem is. Sometimes it gets to me. It like, how, how, how do you have a strong, you know, like a strong foot? Why do you, how do you put a foot down? How do you um, do that? Like I mentioned, me, I'm used to getting things my way. I'm used to right. doing what I want. I don't really, I come from a very small family, so I don't have that kind of, right. yeah, right. so... If my family doesn't bother me, someone outside is not going to bother right, me. Right. And I also feel like God is preparing me. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, yeah. Fair enough. Debbie from Konongo wants you to share one of the funniest memories you have from filming Boys Casa with Calibos. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's this episode where he was, I was supposed to slap him. Hey. Okay. And you know, when you're shooting, there's a cut, let's take. You know they move the camera so mm -hmm. by the time we're done he took about five slaps and <laughs> they were real slaps and you know he's light skin and see Aye. when we're done they had no my oh, no. oh no <laughs> and i loved every bit of oh, it <laughs> what scene was it was it the one you guys were gonna go eat gobe or something no no no, oh, no 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 um i think he was in the scene he was we were shooting 
So there was a director, and then in the scene, in the scene, do you get it? Right, right, yeah. right. I was supposed to slap him. So right. cut, let's take it again, cut. And then after that, I was like, nah, I want you to Jumani Bill. Isn't that five slaps? Five slaps is the same. <laughs> Poor Calibus. <laughs> uh, right, Osma wants you to tell us how you met Calibus and how it he has helped your career. Oh, how did I meet Calibus? We were in Nafti together. Right. Um, Calibus is a funny boy, so very funny, <laughs> very very <laughs> right funny. Right from Nafti, he was that boy, you know, the class clown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very funny. So before you realize it, you and him are friends because he would say something and you would laugh. Right. How he has helped my career, I don't think I would have been able to go through some of the things that I went through without Calibus. Right. Yeah. Um, it's interesting how people were talking about his wedding and how I was there, but they didn't notice how he was there for me when my mom passed. Yeah. So, yeah, he's like the big brother I never had. Right, <laughs> right, right. That's so nice. <laughs> um, Iraba from Tema says, as a successful actress and entrepreneur, what inspired you to keep pushing boundaries? I want to make my people proud. Yeah, um, I know as a single mom, and my grandma too was a single mom. Right. So, <laughs> so I come from um, a family of strong women. So I just want to make them proud. Right, yeah. right. Okay, Prince is asking if you were surprised when you heard Calibus was getting married and not to you. Oh, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you knew his girlfriend even before he of got married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How wouldn't I know? Yeah. We were all there, you yeah. know. <laughs> um, Calibus is a sweet boy. Right. He has sisters. So I think that's where he got it from. He's a very sweet boy. I knew some lady was going to snatch him. Yeah, yeah 100%. Watch him pull. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, Kelvin from Insawam wants to know your current relationship status. Why? Is Kelvin interested in me? Maybe. Kelvin, are you interested? <laughs> Say something, Kelvin. I'm not married. But are you talking to somebody? Are you seeing somebody? Are you in the in the process of being someone's girlfriend <laughs> you know there's always there's always something well there's always something happening okay you know? guys yeah. something is happening but something is, is not happening hap yeah but you know something no. is happening are you being honest i'm being totally yeah. honest with you yeah so guys i mean i don't know when this is going to egg something can happen tomorrow right you know something might have stopped happening yesterday right right okay <laughs> So maybe a beer, no gemme, but it depends on something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? You're right. Okay, all right, all right. Um next one. Derek again is asking if you could switch lives with any Ghanaian celebrity for one day, who would it be and why? I'm a Benyuando. I think um uh, we always underestimate her because we think, you know, she's not really you know, literate like that. But some of us are literate and we still have not been able to do most of the things yeah. she's been able to do. So, yeah. Right. Right. Fair enough. Um, final one. Ramos wants to know if you would like to join Yellow Series when the opportunity presents itself. Am I getting an opportunity right now? Hey, me, I wish I were Mr. <laughs> Ivan. Me, I wish I were Mr. I would say yes. But I can't speak for Mr. Ivan. But I feel like, yeah. Of course. Yeah. It's a wonderful production. It has so many stars. Right. Jackie, Ajete, yeah. Bella. Of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Why not? Yeah. Okay. All right. This is the last question. We're going on a quick break. When we get back, Ahmofe Patri is in the rapid fire.
Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking, and it's time for Ahonfe Patri to answer all the rapid fire questions. Yeah? Okay. All right. Uh, first one Would you rather fame or money? Money. Okay. Would you rather perform live with Kim Promise or Jackie? Oh, can't I have both of them? Nope. One. <laughs> One. Um, Jackie. Jackie. Let me know inside, inside. Keep yeah, but promise. because you're a women's advocate, definitely you know? has to go. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> but I love them both. Yeah, 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 fair. Would you rather Ghana Jollof or Nigerian Jollof? This one, dear. What yeah. What well, yeah. Nigerian Jollof? Please, who sent, whoever sent it, don't do that again. Don't never do that again. Why would you do that? Uh, would you rather Ak um, Aka Ebenezer or Lil Wayne? Hey. Um, Lil Wayne, because I've worked with him yes, before, yes. and he's funny. And I, and I feel like like we should get, like, Akabeneza is very good. He's ruling, yeah. you know, YouTube now. But Lil Wayne is Let's a legend. Flowers, yeah, yeah, Lil Wayne is a legend. Yeah. Um, would you rather be remembered for making people laugh or inspiring positive change? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I like to make people laugh too. Yeah. Inspiring positive change. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you rather have invisibility for a day or be able to read minds for 24 hours? No, invisibility. Why yeah. would I want to read your mind? The, you sometimes think... you just stress yourself yeah. reading someone's mind. Yeah. Invisibility, then you can do Go whatever anywhere. You want to. I'll just be invisible. Enter a flight to France. You get me? And just go <laughs> Enter and the like... bank. Take the money. Ooh. Wait, but would the money be invisible too if they you touch it? They will see the money moving in the air. It will be one wondrous <laughs> thing, yeah. <laughs> That would be funny. Um, <laughs> would you rather deal with online trolls um, and negativity or face a lack of engagement on social media? Mm. I will deal with online trolls yeah, any it day. It comes with a job. Yeah. Also, when you see me, you can't say anything to Right, me. right, 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 <laughs> right, right. Would you rather accidentally post a blurry selfie with a filter gone wrong or have your phone stolen with all your behind-the-scenes photos? <laughs> Um, I don't mind a blurry photo. Right. Yeah. That, that, uh, people might forget, you know, yeah. a while, but hey, the behind the scenes, <laughs> they, they can blackmail you. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Right. Uh, would you rather have your phone battery die right before a hot date or have your internet cut out as, as you're about to go live on Instagram? Oh. Um, I don't mind either. Yeah. Really. Yeah. You have to choose one. Um, okay, let the phone die yeah. because it's a date. I would like you guys to, have, to be having yeah. a conversation. Yeah, yeah, why not? Right, final one, and then I'm out of your hair. Would you rather get caught on camera sleeping during a government meeting <laughs> or accidentally follow your ex on social media again? Hmm. Never. Never. I would sleep and yeah. snore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, which what has your ex done to you? Okay. All right. I'll leave that. I don't want to pry into that. Mm -mm. Okay, so we've literally come to the end of this that wasn't everything bad. at all. Yeah. Uh, very special thank you goes to Ahonfe Patri for you know showing up on our invitation and actually making this very fun and being honest. A thank you goes to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and Afro Lounge for providing us with the space and drinks to conduct our interviews. Guys, if you feel like Ahonfe Patri hasn't been honest, you can comment <laughs> and ask more questions. We'll find her, bring her back to come and answer all the things that are bothering you. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the link and comment who you want to see next. Until next time. <laughs>